what's up guys welcome back to my channel so i'm just gonna go right ahead and go into today's video so i'm gonna be recreating a makeup look by a famous i think he's famous celebrity makeup artist his name is kevin luang luang i'm sorry kevin if i butchered your name so if you want to see how i do recreating the makeup look then just keep on watching but one thing that i know about kevin's makeup is that he always has a really nice bright under eye so that's what we're gonna do today i already went ahead and prepped my skin with my glow shit because it just really gives me a nice glowy base as you guys can already see so i'm just gonna go ahead and move on into so the two foundations i'm gonna be using today are nars radiant i can never see the name but these foundations these are the radiant creamy long wear foundations i'm using the shade iguaco and new color donut which is like my actual shade so i'm just going to be mixing these together and i'm going to apply it on to my skin all right so now that i have that base on i'm going to go ahead and really sculpt my face because that's his signature is sculpting so i'm going to be taking this fenty beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 390 and I'm just going to apply that regularly because this is more closer to my skin tone. So I'm just going to heavily apply this concealer. Now I haven't seen Kevin do makeup. I'm just, you know, from my imagination, I'm just trying to like do my makeup like how I feel like he would on his models. I'm going to take that concealer again and then I'm going to go underneath my contour. So as soon as I place my concealer, I'm going to go ahead and blend this into my skin. So with him, he always has like a really uh, soft whatchamacallit soft contour bronze but i'm gonna go ahead and bronze because i haven't seen him do makeup on that many um chocolate skin people so i'm gonna take a dark foundation like right here and i'm just gonna use that to sculpt and i'm gonna give myself a really deep deep sculpt because we're going Okay, see how that already kind of gives me like top model. And I'm just going to take that same foundation and then go on um, my forehead area. Same process. We're looking for like chiseled, but also soft and bronzed. I love his work so much. I feel like he always has like a little nice pout going on for the models me likey and I'm gonna take a little bit down here so if you look at his photos his models are like very like caramel lies type of like bronzer blush going on I don't have a bronzer that's gonna look like that on me so I'm gonna be using liquid lipstick this is a Maybelline liquid lipstick in the shade fighter and I'm just going to take a little bit in the back of my hand. See, I'm so scared. I don't know how this is going to look, but we'll see. And I'm just going to put that on the back of my hands like this. And I'm just going to apply it on my cheek. And hope to Jesus that this gives me like the bronze that I want. I feel like it's working, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend the contour areas. Okay, so I just went ahead and turned on my lights a little bit so you guys can see the shade that I'm talking about. Um, and to blend that out, I'm just going to take the booty of my sponge. And then I'm just going to, you know, make sure that it's well blended. And I'm also like raising it, lifting it all the way It's like a lot of shades lighter than me, but I really want that like, um, you know, that bright effect going on. So I'm going to focus her in the inner corner and then the outer corner right here. Now, if this looks crazy, I'm not posting this video. 
Because <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. But I'm just really trying to recreate his makeup looks. I'm not sure that he uh, uses this much product. But hey. I feel like I OD'd on the powder. So in order to do that, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Plays Bronzer Duo. This is in the shade Deep Dark. Taking this shade up here, and I'm just going to use that to really bronze my skin heavily. So I'm just taking that. But this time around, I'm really just um, using that bronzer in more of like a curved. Because you can kind of see like all his models have that like curved bronze look looking like it's like barely there but it's there on the vanessa Gemma palette i'm sorry guys i really don't buy new makeup anymore but i'm going to anyway i'm going to be using this orange shade to give me that um yeah like he always has this like terracotta or whatever they call that shade thing going on and like he would have it like all the way up so that's what I'm trying to achieve here and then for, so for brows he always has this like really fluffy brow thingy going on so that's exactly what we're about to do. I'm going to take um, the bronzes that I used earlier and I'm just going to use that to sculpt my eyes. So I'm just going to put brown in the entire crease. Cause I feel like that's literally what he does. It's a lot of brown, just hella browns. And I'm dragging that down into my nose contour that I originally put. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use some black eyeliner because he always has some definition going out the right here. So I'm gonna be taking this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. And I'm gonna close my eyes and pull my eyelid forward a little bit. I mean backwards. And I'm just going to go ahead and run that pencil along my lower lash line. I mean, my, you know, my top lash. I think I'm just going to go ahead and highlight and bronze my skin more. So I'm just taking the highlighter from Revlon. And I'm just taking her like literally right up here because I don't really see him do highlighter, but I'm going to do it anyways. And we're going to put that in the center of my nose. Where are my tweezers? Found them. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and place the lash onto my lash line I'm gonna bend so I feel like our look is coming together okay so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips first I definitely notice him Overlining a little bit, so I'm just, that's what I'm gonna do.
And then for the center of my lip, I'm going to be using this uh, Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink Liquid, you know what I mean, in the shade Wild Ride. And I'm just going to put that in the center like this. So I'm gonna go over again with that lip liner. So I feel like I need some orange. I'm gonna use this Maybelline one. So I'm gonna be using this Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Hot Chocolate. And I'm just going to take it and put it in the middle. Ooh. I might have done something here, sis. Might have done something. Okay, guys, so that brings us to the end of another makeup video. Um, I love this look. So, <laughs> I think I'm going to do a makeup like this more often now. I just love the orange vibes, the terracotta vibes, the rusty vibes. Oof. All products will be down in the description bar. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, okay? Because we're trying to grow this baby. <laughs> and I will see you guys on my next video.